everybody. Welcome back to the Whisk It With Flavor Kitchen. Today we are going to be making a cream cheese icing for, it was a request for a friend of ours first birthday party. Our ingredients will be cream cheese, milk, vanilla extract, we're using pure but you can use any, salt, butter, and flour. First, we are gonna, and we're also gonna be kneading a large bowl. You can use a stand mixer or, or handheld, and oh, the whisk attachment. Okay, so first we're gonna be um, mixing the cream cheese and butter. They need to be softened before used. And we're gonna be mixing the cream cheese and the butter for uh, about two minutes until smooth. So, now. Now, how long was the butter sitting out? The butter has been sitting out for... Until it gets... Until it gets soft. To room temperature, that's right. Uh, I cut it. Just got it. It's not cut. That's okay, it melted back together. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna mix it together for. Oh, she locks it first. Good job, Ava. Medium speed. And set your timer. For how long? Two minutes. You got it. So, here's a quick recap. We mixed the butter and the cream cheese together for two minutes until, well, smooth. And now we are gonna add the confectioner's sugar, the milk, the vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt, and mix for three minutes. But add, remember, add the confectioner's sugar slowly so it doesn't like get everywhere. So we took the bowl out because it would be very messy. And like, there's lots of powder. That wouldn't be that good. And we just wanna pour all the confectioner's sugar in there slowly. And that's four and a half cups of confectioner's sugar. Yeah. Which is the same as powdered sugar. And we're just gonna clean that up. There. Okay. And now that we have our confectioner's sugar, let's move on to some milk. So this is our dry ingredients mixed with cream cheese and butter. And we are now going to pour the milk. You can use so vanilla milk extra. or heavy whipping can, cream. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and you can use pure or just vanilla extra. Mm -hmm. We're using pure. Now that is more than a pinch of salt. I just put that in there so that you could make your own pinch. Don't use all of it. A pinch of salt. We don't want salty cake. Ew. I would hate that. Okay. We put it in on low for 30 seconds. And then we put it in for three minutes on medium high. And it's looking good. And don't forget to check the website. Sally's Baking Addiction. And it so happens that Sally's actually the name of my great grandmother. And while this it has another 30 seconds, I guess we can talk. You should go to the website, and it has tons of it has this really good recipe. And now that it has been mixed for three minutes and 30 seconds, precise. We, it's time for the taste test, my favorite. We're just gonna get a spoonful there. That's a lot. <laughs> we kind of need some of it, Eva, for the cake. <laughs> Is it too salty or too sweet? Need more milk or need more confectioner sugar? I think it's perfect. Maybe a little too salty. So then you can add some more confectioner sugar if you feel you need to. Yeah. Well, otherwise, it's perfect. Just like 